All right. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. This one's a long time coming, let me tell you. Dark Side Phil here, and as you know, well, you may not know. Who knows? I should not presume, right? Uh, I've been around on YouTube since 2007. I actually started doing more consistent coverage of gameplay of new releases since 2008. And one of the games that I played way back when, before I even did direct capture, before I was serious about it and I did it at any kind of consistency, it was Mirror's Edge. Now, when I played this game, I, I, I remember recording, I don't think I did a full-on playthrough of it, but I covered a lot of it. And I ended up covering some game bugs, some weird stuff, but I also ended up covering some really amazing stuff. And overall, I remember the original Mirror's Edge, I felt when I was done with it, that it was kind of a mixed bag. There was good with the bad. But overall, that it was something different. It was something original, something refreshing. <clears throat> especially the visual style of the game. So different, you know, from anything else around that time frame. And uh, basically, you know, it's kind of like, when you think about it, what happened? That was a long time ago, and then we waited and waited, and it's like, I guess the game wasn't a huge sales hit. Critics liked it. Critics really rated the game pretty decently and said, wow, this is original concept, free-running parkour, and no guns, but instead you're doing all kinds of this movement, uh, what do they call it? Uh, not poetry in motion, that's not what I'm thinking of, that's, that's a wrestling reference. But basically this parkour style movement, you know, constantly moving, constantly using that to your advantage in combat, but also for, for platforming and puzzle solving. And why didn't it, what happened to it? It was original. And now here we are so many years later, I mean, how many games honestly get a sequel seven to eight years later? Almost none when you really think about it, okay, almost none. And it's pretty cool to see that this game finally has come back uh, to, to the mainstream, you know? A game that I quite honestly wanted to see a sequel to. So here we are, 2016, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. The game's been through a lot of troubles, meaning, you know, we probably wanted to see this game years ago. Finally, it's out. I played the beta of the game. The beta was incredibly long. Like three, three and a half hours or longer of gameplay of the beta. So I get the feeling that a lot of the stuff we'll be doing in this very first session at the beginning of the game may be stuff from the beta, but here's hoping they do mix it up a bit. I enjoyed the beta, but obviously I want to see the game hopefully evolve over the, the, the first few hours of gameplay. I guess we'll find out, all right? All right, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. It's installing my add-ons. This game for pre-ordering had quite a lot. I think it was like three separate add-ons. I don't know what they entail. I don't know what they're actually going to give me in the game. There you go. The Speedrunner Kit. There's another one. The Combat Runner's Kit. I thought there was a third. Maybe I'm wrong. Adjust the slider until the logo is barely visible. I can't see the logo at all. I see nothing. Alright, now I can see it. Alright, we'll do that. Holy crap. So, here... Oh, looks like I have to accept a licensing agreement. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, this game supposedly is not a sequel. I'll make that clear to everyone. It's not a sequel to the original Mirror's Edge. It's supposed to be basically kind of a reimagining or a reboot. I mean, after seven, eight years... If they were to do a direct sequel, people would probably be like, what the heck, you know? So it's basically kind of like redoing the whole thing from the ground up. And I get the feeling that if it is successful, that they will do a sequel to this. So in the City of Glass, the conglomerate rules supreme. All regular citizens are made into willing slaves, lured into an endless race for status and wealth. How nice. But some choose to live off the grid. Runners work as couriers and cat burglars. The rooftops belong to them. As long as they don't openly challenge the authorities, the conglomerate turns a blind eye. Of course they do. For almost two decades, the status quo has held. Until now, when game developers decided they needed more money. Times are about to change. Whoa, someone's pointing a gun at the cop. But no one can't know. You owe me a lot of script, Faith. I expect you to deliver on your promise. Dave! God! Where are you? Oh, 
Well, this is exactly the opening of the beta. <laughs> Very portal-esque, right? Every new day holds a promise. Waste it or spend it advancing yourself, furthering your prospects and your career. As a future employee of a corporation of your choice, your possibilities are infinite. The key to success lies in unlocking your inner potential through hard work and relentless dedication. As an employee, you are expected to perform at the top of your abilities. Last day, huh? And constantly strive I thought we'd keep you here forever, Leech. Work is rewarded. Maybe you'd like another three months. Laziness punished. <laughs> Oh, it would yeah. be so easy. Personal freedom comes at a Come price. Come on, let's go. We got a full day ahead. Our great society expects every employee to contribute to the corporation of their choice. Has served a 12 months. This one's like twice the size of faith. <laughs> Seek immediate employment and will be monitored through your grid link. If you do not find employment within 14 days, you will be relocated to a Greenland facility. Do you understand these conditions? Forced to Just find employment. Work hard and you will be <laughs> Dressing rooms to the left, Leech. Very different from uh, current United States, that's for sure. Can't find employment in 14 days. Get to the welfare line and go to uh, the unemployment agency who tries to hook you Dope up with jobs. Best. Enjoy your freedom, Dugan. Dirty Dugan. All right. Well. 60 frames per second to start. What the? Okay, well this didn't happen in the beta. By playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst online, you automatically share your profile and game stats with the community in the game and the companion. Okay, amazing. It's Kruger. Evil Kruger. Gabriel Kruger. CEO Kruger Brand Industries. And he punches her right in the face. Very nice. Excuse me, can you tell me where the nearest Starbucks is? Oh! It's thirsty. God damn it. Where can I find the best prices on uh, tires? Oh! <laughs> That's great. They all just smash you in the face. Kruga. A door. Hey, over here. Don't nice red door. On that. I'm Icarus. Noah sent me. You could be anyone. Well, you'll just have to trust me. Here, take this. I want to get off the streets. A beat link? But put it on. We need to get you connected and calibrated. I know Noah's eager to talk to you. Noah. That's sure who he does the running missions for. What the hell? Come on, we need to get on it. A nice heads up display. Ah, there's something wrong with this. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, no, you're low on funds. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Almost forgot. We have to cut your grid link. It's causing the interference. Is this what the employees see all the time? Yeah, I guess you're not reformed enough to enjoy it. <laughs> not reformed at all. There you go. You're off the grid. <laughs> now they know you're gone. Time to get off the ground. Damn. Can you imagine if in real life you saw that shit up in your eyes all the time? Fucking ads and shit? Banner ads? Holy crap. All right, here we go. I'll go the other way. Meet you up ahead. Oh! 
Whoops, I guess I went the wrong way. <laughs> I was getting too much to the free run. I wasn't looking for where I was supposed to go. Whoops. Well, I was, if you could tell, I was still holding the trigger. And I immediately died again. What the? Now they rotated me to the way I'm supposed to face. Look. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go this way. Hop. L2 slides, of course. The super jump. Oh crap. A light melee clash, Kruger said. Submit! Submit! Submit to this. Whee! Snap of the arm. Nice. Doo -doo 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 okay. I made it inside. Can someone tell me what the hell is going on? They were gonna send you to a Great Land food dome, Faith. We had to get you now. Cutting your grid link makes you a fugitive, but we planned for this. Follow the runner echo through the warehouse. Icarus will meet up with you on the other side. By then, you should be in the clear. Okay. If you can make it through that old place, time to see if the fabled Faith is all that she's made out to be. Nobody likes a smart mouth at a grid. Oh, I slid into the door. Whoops. Oh, your beating will calibrate as you go, Faith. Alright, so this is going to serve as the tutorial. There's a general search warrant out for Phoenix Carpenter, female, young, facial tattoo. They're a bit more insistent than I expected. Phoenix Carpenter? Phoenix Carpenter. <laughs> yeah, they'll set her up with a fake grid print when they took her. I transferred it to her beat link as insurance. Might come in handy later. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here we go. Wall running. Just keep going. Oh, I didn't have enough height. I need to jump first. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, nice boost. Alley -oop. Up the nice pipe. Oh! I was just short. I think I did this with the beta too. How do you get back up? Uh, oh, here we go. Pipe right here. Alright, here we go. Jump! Got it, nice. Just need a little bit more height. Uh oh. Better run. Come up for you. Very nice Tarzan swing. They made their choice long ago, Icarus. Control. I got Carpenter. So bit. So I guess her name is Faith Carpenter? Huh. He's an excessive frontal I roll. Nicely. <laughs> you step aside. And now they know you came this way. Like I had a choice. Sure. We need to clear out. Better take a different route to the Everdyne Tower. We'll split up again. Keep them confused. Can you make it across to those pipes? Of course. Good. Your beatlings should be calibrated by now and your runner's vision working. Just follow the red and I'll meet you at the tower. Let's go. All right, for their, uh... For the parkour to escape. Yep. Your beat display is finished calibrating. Press R3 to send a runner's vision pulse. There we go. Nice. See, when the free running works, it's a lot of fun. Look. Woohoo! Whoa. 
Why the hell was there a ladder hanging off the side of the building like this? She says too close, but you know there's gonna be a million things like this in the game. Oh man, I need to get the roll. Damn, he got fucking destroyed. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Damn it. Alright, let's try again. Oh, come on. Again she missed. This is just a hold. So what am I doing wrong? Let's see. Uh, she's still not grabbing it. I'm holding it like they're saying. It's not working. Oh, they went with a wall run. I didn't see that. Damn it. I didn't see the wall run on the side. Shit. All right, I got it now. Okay. Nice. Oops. No, 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 no. Crap. Didn't have the momentum. Here we go. Ah! Oh, she fell when she jumped. There we go. Didn't work. <laughs> I held it and she just fell. Let's try again. There we go. Damn, face first. There we go. Got that one for a shot. Mercy Excellent. Everywhere. Look for a zip line leading to Orion. What do I just do? Jump? I guess so. Jump! I'm out of Ryan. With the balancing. I don't remember if that was in the beta, the balance beam stuff. Huh. You're dead for now. Seems two years in prison only made you better at this. Get to Orion. There we go, nice smooth wall run. Made it. Good. Well, at least you got here before dawn. Who are you anyway? When did you join the Cabal? About a year ago. Well, I grew up with them. So how about you cut me some damn You slack? also got caught and caused a whole lot of trouble for Noah. You don't know what happened. I know enough. And I know that I'm faster and safer than you. Faith, what a douche. I'm here. It's a bit crowded with new guy and his ego. Knock it off, both of you. Look, we are out of options. The only way out is through the Everdyne Tower. And with Kasich there, you're gonna have to fight them. Icarus. Alright, done. Good. Faith, use the mod to freshen up your fighting skills before you go on. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but looks like we don't have any choice. Don't worry, Noah. I can do it. I know you can. Ooh. You can tell he's cool because he's so cool he wears sunglasses at night. Look at this guy. Punch him. Don't let me... Here, hold on. How do you climb? Or how do you uh, duck? Oh, here we go. Punch him in the dick, can you? Oh, uh, you can't punch when you're crouching. That's bullshit. Someone punch it right in the dick. Alright, well, I guess this is gonna be the combat tutorial coming up next.